Hello, I'm here to explain Suleba's SignDocs iPad app and how easy it is to use for my day-to-day -day needs. It's totally paperless and I can reach out to all my customers efficiently. First, I want to show you how I can bring a document to the app. There are three ways you can do it. First one, I always prefer email PDF attachment import, which is very easy. The second one, if you're computer savvy, you can connect through iTunes sharing. And last, for a small business or enterprise where they have documents stored in the FTP server, which is nothing but a file sharing protocol with secured access. Now I will show you how easy it is to import an email PDF attachment to the SignDocs app. Here we have an email with two attachments, and then you can see how I import my lease form PDF. Please note, there's a pop-up open in window, and then you can scroll to see the sign docs and select for import. Now, as you can see, the document is imported into the bookshelf of Sign Docs. Now we have to attach the imported PDF document to the customer in their project. You can do so by pressing the Add or Edit Customer Projects button. You can tab the customer field to select the existing contacts or create one. You also notice that I can create a new customer by pressing the green plus sign on the top right of the customer pop-up screen. You can optionally create a dummy customer to use this functionality and reuse the PDF template as many times as you wish for various projects. For this testing, I'm selecting ABC contractors for my contacts, and my project is medical. Also tap on the PDF field to import the document to this signing project. You can also add some notes if you wish, and then press save. If you have a contact photo, you will see it on the right side of the screen. Great. Now we've linked customer to the project and the imported PDF. We're back to the main screen to refresh our newly added customer and project so that we can sign it. Notice multiple contacts in a beautiful cover flow screen. Now you should see the attached lease form PDF template in the bookshelf for this project that needs to be signed. Now, tap the lease form PDF and you'll see the sign in screen. This is a standard three page agreement that the client needs to sign on the last page. Cool thing is, you can create your own custom labels for this document. Let's say I want to create a John Smith label. You can adjust the font and width of the label by pressing the color icon on the top. After we create the label, press return. If you made a mistake, you can delete the label by pressing the delete symbol or cross mark on the top left of the label. Then I drag the label by touching it slowly and moving it to its desired location. Remember to save each label by pressing the Save Label icon. Let's create the Tenant label. Slowly do the same and save. Now let's add the Timestamp label. Press the Dismiss button on the Timestamp label. Again, we move slowly to the desired location of the document and save it. Before I sign it, I will lock it to maintain the integrity of the document. After locking, I can choose a different color pen settings. For this demo, I'm using default. Great. Now we're ready to sign it. After signing, save the document by pressing the Save File icon image. As you can see, it will ask for a new folder name or the existing folder. Here we can give the custom folder and file name for future reference. As soon as I'm done with the save option, I can immediately email it to my client as well as save a copy. You can see the email icon on the top of the screen. Wow, that's fast. This is what I needed for my business to save time and money. Let me check my email. Here you go. Amazing. Now let's check how this is organized in my bookshelf folder. I can go to the customer and tap on the customer cover flow screen to see the related project. I should see both my original template and signed documents for this client on the bottom right below the image. Then I tap sign folder to see the signed document. Now I can email the signed document again or FTP to a company server. It's so convenient. I can also print a hard copy wirelessly using the iPad supported printers. What a time saver. Let's talk about the settings screen. You have an option to set FTP parameters like hostname or server, user ID and password to connect securely. By the way, 
FTP means file server protocol. Color pen setting allows me to change pen color, thickness, and font size. The cool thing about timestamp label, it allows me to choose three different formats to communicate with my international clients. Please remember to read the legal disclosure before you sign any documents. Check your federal, state, and local legal requirements before electronic signing. This app has built-in help tutorial just in case you ever need it, as well as demo slides. Very helpful. Demo slides explains the look and feel of the bookshelf with the customer folder and files. Delete bookshelf folder or files by pressing the animated delete or crossbark symbol when we hold the top left corner of the document. We have three ways of document import. First one, email PDF attachment, which I covered. Second, iTunes desktop sharing. And third, FTP option. How to link customer and project to the imported PDF. How to change the pen settings. How to create custom labels and lock the document before signing. And signing and saving it within the custom and folder and file name. Okay, you can download Sulaba Inc.'s SignDoc's best-selling electronic signature iPad app at iTunes today. For more details, please visit Sulaba.com. Sulaba Inc. is a true leader in mindful apps for various mobile platforms. Sulaba Inc. delivers valuable apps for kids and professionals in popular categories like educational games, business productivity, and lifestyle. Thanks for watching this video. Have a wonderful day and let's go green.